Hi, I'm Tom Corbett, one of the photoelectric product managers at Pepperone Fuchs. Trying to sense clear or opaque objects with a photoelectric sensor can be difficult or impossible if you don't have the right sensor. This is because most photoelectric sensors are designed to give you the most range possible, and therefore, they aren't always sensitive enough to detect the small changes in the return light that clear objects cause. With a standard retroreflective photoelectric sensor, a, a light path is established from the sensor to the reflector. When an object comes in between the sensor and the reflector and interrupts this light path, the object is detected and the output switches states. But you'll notice with a clear object like a water bottle, the light passes through the clear object and the beam is not broken or interrupted. Therefore, the sensor's output doesn't change and the clear bottle isn't detected. Even when a small object is placed in front of the sensor, like the metal portion of this small screwdriver, it's not detected because it doesn't block enough light from returning to the sensor. You could try using the built-in potentiometer to decrease the overall range of the sensor. Doing this can increase the sensitivity, but it can also make the sensor unstable. Notice that even at short distances used in this demonstration, the sensor is still not able to sense the presence of the clear bottle, and the output is not stable flickering on or off as I move the bottle around to different positions. And a small object like the screwdriver still isn't detected. A standard retroreflective sensor isn't able to pick up the clear bottle or even the small screwdriver because it wasn't designed for clear object detection or even small object detection. It was designed with maximum power in mind to provide the longest range possible. To accurately detect clear objects, Pepper and Fuchs has designed a special retroreflective sensor with a low hysteresis circuit, specially for sensing clear or opaque objects. The R103 Clear Object Sensor. It's part of a new series of small photoelectric sensors from Pepper and Fuchs that's available in nine different sensing modes, including background suppression and measurement models. There's a choice of LED or laser light sources, both with a rated temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius, which is ideal for cold storage applications. And every R103 has IO-Link built-in, able to pro provide advanced parameterization and diagnostics information. The R103 Clear Object Sensor I have here features three separate user-selectable contrast level settings that change the sensitivity of the sensor based on how much light is blocked or returned to the sensor. Each requires the R103 sensor to be taught to the reflector so the sensor knows how much light is returned when no object is present. Contrast level 3 is the least sensitive at 40%, meaning that the sensor will detect a minimum of a 40% change in the amount of return light. Contrast level 2 is 18%, and contrast level 1 is the most sensitive at 10%, requiring only a 10% change in the amount of returned light. In this demonstration, I'll program the R103 for contrast level 3. To do this, I rotate the potentiometer to position 3 and press the teach button. Notice that when I pass the bottle in front of the sensor, it is easily detected, and the sensor's output is stable, staying on no matter where the bottle is placed. Also notice that when I pass the small end of the screwdriver in front of the sensor, it is also easily detected. So the R103 is ideal not only for clear objects, but also small object detection. But watch what happens when I pass the piece of clear plexiglass in front of the sensor. The R103 at contrast level 3 is unable to detect it. This is because the plexiglass is much clearer than the water bottle and doesn't have the multiple surfaces that the light must pass back and forth through. To detect the plexiglass, I'll have to try one of the other contrast settings. Again, I'll rotate the potentiometer, and this time I'll choose position 2 and press the teach button. Now when I pass the plexiglass in front of the R103, it is detected. And of course, the water bottle level 2 is also detected, and so is the small screwdriver. How about an application where you'd want to detect a clear object through a clear object? Since the R103 is programmable, detecting clear through clear is just as easy. For this demonstration, I'll use the same clear water bottle and place it in the light path. Now I'll rotate the potentiometer to contrast level 3 and press the teach button. I'll take the plexiglass and pass it between the bottle and the reflector. The plexiglass is detected while the water bottle is ignored. 
As you can see, detecting clear objects with a photoelectric sensor is easy if you choose the right sensor. Thank you for watching this video on the R103 Clear Object Detection.